everyone, I'm Margaret and welcome to Deliciously Sweet and Savory. Today I'm going to show you how to make fresh pasta dough. Coming from a Cuban Italian background, I grew up eating lots of Italian food. I think one of the first food items that comes to mind when thinking about Italian cuisine is pasta. And there is nothing better than freshly made pasta because the taste and texture are simply amazing. It also requires few ingredients and is not too difficult to make. So let's get started. For this recipe, you need eggs, flour, and olive oil. The olive oil is optional, but will add an additional layer of flavor to the pasta. For the flour, you can use all-purpose flour or a combination of double zero flour and all-purpose flour. Double zero flour is more finely ground than all-purpose flour and is considered to be the flour of choice for pasta as the texture of the pasta will be silkier. However, if you just use all-purpose flour, the pasta will still turn out great. So use whatever you have available to you. First, stir the flour in a bowl using a whisk to loosen up the flour. Next, dump the flour onto your work surface. Then form it into a mound and create a well in the center. We are going to be putting the eggs in the well we created. So make sure the walls around the hole are at least a few inches high. Now, add a drizzle of olive oil if you want and add in half of the eggs. Then use a fork to begin incorporating some of the flour with the eggs. And use your other hand to push the flour in from the outside to maintain the well in the center of the flour. When the eggs have thickened and started to have a paste-like consistency, add in the rest of the eggs and continue to mix with a fork, incorporating some of the flour a little at a time. By this point, your mixture may look like a mess. And you may be wondering if you did something wrong. But this is the point when we use our hands to knead the dough. So use your hands to bring the flour and egg mixture together and fold the mixture over and press out with the palm of your hands. The dough will slowly start to come together. So continue to knead the dough. And it will eventually become one mass. At this point, set the dough aside and scrape your work surface to remove all of the dry pieces. Then take the dough and continue to knead for five minutes. You will know when the dough is ready because when you press your thumb down on the dough, it will spring back a little. Now wrap the pasta dough in plastic wrap and let it rest at room temperature for 30 minutes before using it. Then you can make the pasta using a pasta press, using a manual pasta maker, or by rolling out the dough and cutting the noodles by hand. This pasta dough recipe is really great and versatile because it can be used to make a variety of pasta, including lasagna and raviolis. While box pasta is a really affordable and great pantry item, there is something extra special about freshly made pasta. The pasta dough recipe I showed you has a great flavor with a really silky texture. It is also still quite affordable to make as it only uses a few basic ingredients, especially if you omit the olive oil. Moreover, this recipe makes a lot of pasta. All of this came from only a fourth of a batch of the pasta dough I made. So you can feed a lot of people with this recipe. Making fresh pasta is definitely a great option if you are looking to make a special meal for your family and friends, or for yourself. It is also very delicious and quite simple to make. So have fun giving this recipe a try. For more recipes like this one, visit my website, which also has the written recipes and ingredient amounts. You can also follow my channel. I'd like to take a moment to thank my patrons for their support. If you'd like to become a patron to support my channel, visit my Patreon page. Also, if there are any recipes, Cuban or otherwise, that you'd like to see, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you soon with another recipe.